Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, you know, a while back I had done a demonstration of the effectiveness of various 223 rounds for penetrating quarter-inch steel plate, and then more recently I'd done a study uh, using the 44 Magnum, first shooting it over a chronograph to measure the bullet velocity, and then shooting a variety of targets, uh, you know, cement blocks, wood blocks, uh, steel plating and uh, uh, milk jugs full of water to see what it would do to those various targets. Uh, today I thought it might be fun to sort of complete the circuit by going back and taking the 223 uh, over the chronograph and then shooting some of those other targets with it to see how its effect compares to the 44 Magnum. <laughs> Okay, so just like I did with the uh, 44 Magnum last time, I fired six shots over the chronograph, measured the velocities, and then uh, from those six velocities calculated the average and standard deviation and also the kinetic energy. Now shooting a 55 grain full metal jacket round out of the 223, I got an average velocity of 3,040 feet per second, plus or minus uh, about 23 uh, feet per second standard deviation, uh, for a kinetic energy of uh, 1,128 foot-pounds. Uh, similarly for a 55 grain hollow point round, I got an average velocity of uh, 2,981 feet per second, uh, plus or minus about 40 feet per second standard deviation, and an average kinetic energy of 1,085 uh, foot-pounds. So now I'll go ahead and shoot some other targets with each of those two rounds out of the 223, and we'll see how the effect compares to the 44 Magnum. So to begin with, here's a gallon milk jug full of water, and I'm going to start by shooting it with the uh, full metal jacket round. And now we'll try the hollow point. So as you can see, the full metal jacket round split the jug open, while the hollow point did considerably more damage. So next I'm going to try shooting the stack of cement blocks, and this time I think I'll start with the hollow point. So now we'll try the full metal jacket round. So in this case, the full metal jacket round broke two cement blocks, as you can see on the left. Uh, the hollow point here on the right only broke one block, but the block that it broke, it shattered. And finally, I'll try this on blocks of wood. I'm going to start with the full metal jacket round. So the full metal jacket round went clean through all eight blocks without knocking them off. Now let's try the hollow point. Okay, so if you'll recall from last time, uh, with the 44 Magnum, even in the rifle, the 44 only penetrated six blocks of wood. Uh, I was only using a target of, of six blocks at that time, uh, but it barely penetrated the last block. Now, the 44 Magnum uh, from the rifle has almost 50% more kinetic energy than the 223, and yet, while that barely penetrated six, uh, the 223 full metal jacket round entered there, exited there, went clean through eight blocks, and kept on going. The hollow point entered there and did not appear to exit. So let's see how many that went through. A 
looks like our uh, hollow point is stuck somewhere in the sixth block. Not quite, didn't quite come out the far side. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, personally, I find it very interesting that my short-barreled 44 Magnum, my 223, develop almost exactly the same amount of uh, kinetic energy at the muzzle. And yet, because of the vastly different mass to velocity ratios of their respective bullets, they still have markedly different uh, effects on a variety of targets.